Hey guys, this is part 5 of the nursing skills video series and this is urinary catheterization. Did I say it right? Urinary catheterization. So what can I say about this video? We use the female straight catheter in um, this simulation. We did, it, we did this video raw. It is a raw footage in our simulation lab. Um, I didn't have enough time to refilm myself again, so you're gonna see a minimal correction or minimal mistakes in this video. My advice is whenever you already have your sterile gloves on or your white gloves on, make sure that you hold your hand or your hand is always up. Don't put it down because that is breaking sterility. You're gonna see me in this video doing these little mistakes here and there, but I corrected myself. I submitted a critique on my video. Like I said in the past video, this is not a perfect video, but this will help you to have a knowledge or get an idea how to perform the skill. So without further ado, and my voice is getting raspy right now, let's go to the video. Hi, my name is Giselle and I'm an LPN student here at Base Technical College and today we're going to be doing um, urinary catheter insertion. So first, <laughs> so first you're going to cut the client. Oh, I'm, going, I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, yeah. Right, so you're going to open I'm going to wash my hands and then I'm going to um, gather my necessary equipment. Of course, I'm going to um, give them the patient the plug. Uh, privacy before I do the, the procedure to my client. I'm going to wash my hands. Um, put my uh, and I'm going to explain to my client what procedure I'm going to um, to do. So first, I'm going to open up. Hello, my name is Gisela, and I'm your um, nursing student today. Can you please tell me your first and last name? All right, I'm going to perform hand hygiene. All right, Ms. Lizzie Finn, how are you doing today? Good. All right. <laughs> so now I'm going to. Um, so now we're going to cover the client with a bath blanket and pull the top in to the bottom. Okay, so we're going to cover the patient with bath blanket. Yeah, I'm going to have the, the patient position. In dorsal recumbent position. Another equator position in the additional leg at the bottom. Use the corners of the back blanket to cover each leg. Mm -hmm. yeah. Place the plate in dorsal position with about 18 feet apart. Yep. And it can be helpful to have the plant put their hands on the buttocks if needed. Mm -hmm. If the patient is still, wash, wash the patient mm -hmm. and the gloves and perform hand hygiene.
then you're going to place okay, so the you Now that you have these in here, you need to make sure you have the label them before you leave them. Yeah. And then you're going to open the packet of the first. Yes, yeah, because, yeah, because actually, maybe put these in here until you're finished labeling them. Okay. And then for that. Then you're going to spread lubricant on the tip of the catheter. And this can be done by sliding the tip of the catheter into the packet of the lubricant. Okay. Do this step without touching any non sterile surfaces. Move the kit onto the sterile drape between the client's legs. Separate it, then we're going to clean each side of the labia with the separate swab. Okay, yep, I was getting that. And then the last swab, you're going to wipe centrally, but you're going to wipe down towards the vagina. Discard the swabs off the sterile field without contaminating your sterile hair. Keep the labia separated. Next, we'll pick up the catheter with the sterile hand. Grasp the catheter, the catheter about three to four inches from the tip. Ask the client to take a deep breath and blow it out through their mouth as you slowly start to insert the catheter. Mm -hmm. Insert the tip about two to three inches or until urine begins to flow. Mm -hmm. If no urine, advance another one to two inches. Advance the catheter to about a half to one inch after the urine flows. And to obtain a urine specimen, pinch the catheter with a contaminated hand and pick up the specimen container with the sterile hand. Can I get the hand sanitizer? And yeah, it's easier. Okay. okay. Place the specimen yeah. container under the catheter yeah. and allow remaining urine to drain into the container. After you allow the remainder of the urine to drain, you're going to discard the catheterization kit and follow your end steps. And I can take the specimen container from you when you're all done. Oh. Put the pen up earlier, but 
I'm going now. I'm going to uh, the document everything. This is the this is the data size and type of uh, character that I use, amount of the amount and appearance of the urine, and um, the client's response to the procedure. So that's it. Thank you. Well, if you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any question, comment down below. Thank you for watching this five-part series of this nursing skills video. And I hope that you learned something from it. I hope that you're going to rock this nursing school like I do. So give me a fist bump right there. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.